Hello, how are you? This is a video about winter storage, uh, in particular lead acid. So if you've got an e-bike with lead acid batteries, you've either got possibly three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. No, that's a 96. You could. Battery cells. So they are about 20 pounds each and they are a huge pain in the ass to take out. Um, but it's worth um saving your batteries because if you leave your lead acid batteries in your bike and you leave it in a shed or outside or even some garages you're not guaranteed that you're going to have the form performance come spring um or you or if you'll have batteries at all because they freeze they expand and then they're done so i've got the brand new emo gt80 behind me a whole row and i'm going to show you um what it looks like inside. I'm not going to take apart the whole damn bike because um, it's possible, but it takes time and patience. So let me just turn you around. Okay, so you open up the seat and this is very universal with any of the scooter style bikes. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the breaker. This cuts off the power to the whole bike, including your alarm system. So you no longer can alarm your bike. Okay. I have taken a screwdriver and I've already loosened all four screws. Okay. So this is going to lift up like this. It's going to be a little heavier in the bottom, but you have to be careful because one, we've got our uh, light and USB charger and that's still going to be connected. Again, I'm one-handing this, so let's just do this. Hold on. There, so with two hands, we can close that now and carefully put this to the side. Now, Emo's done a great thing by having a clip to remove that. I am going to leave that on for now. Oh, the struggle is real. Okay. So now, this is typically what you're going to see in any scooter style bike. What is everything? Okay. So this is your positive line that goes to your battery. This is the start of your series. Your negative, which I can't see immediately, but that is, oh, sorry, that is going to your controller. By the way, that's your controller. This is a DC converter, main things there. But you can see how packed these batteries are. We've got three right now that we can see um, out of the six, right? So we know that there's three more underneath of that. Like I said, it's not that difficult, but anything you do for the first time is a little scary. So these, uh, the batteries run in series. So what I recommend is either taking pictures of exactly the way it is right now and or doing drawing a diagram because you've got to make sure that you've got your positive to negative. Make sure that you mark this one because this is your main positive line going to your breaker. And then you've got to mark this one here that goes to your controller. Pretty important. As long as this black goes to a negative and uh, this positive red line goes to a positive. Other than that, um, it is pretty buried, but you've got, here's one series. Now you've got to start taking things apart. So you've got brackets that keep the whole, um, everything in place so nothing moves around. So you're going to take that bracket out. You're going, to, you're going to undo these lines and then you're going to start taking out and you've got the same thing underneath. Take these batteries out, put them in a warm spot, put them inside the house. So the other thing is give the bike a charge and let acid charge it right full and then um, store them for the winter. If they're 90%, that's fine too. But you don't want to put dead batteries away because they do slowly, excuse me, slowly lose um some power. So that's pretty much that for um, lead acid. I hope that that covers a few things and uh, pretty easy. 
Um, and if you really don't feel confident doing it, then if you can bring your bike and put it in your living room, I highly recommend it. You spent a good amount of money on that bike and uh, you want to be able to use it. So if that doesn't work for you, either take it to your dealer, they can do it. Um, sometimes dealers have storage. I have storage. Um, or, um, but the fact is, point, get your batteries out of the cold weather. It's now, what, December 7th? If you haven't done it now, do it. Thanks for watching. Bye.